Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Scripture reading for the twelfth week after Pentecost, Tuesday. The first reading of the day is from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 15 through 21. Brethren, Christ died for all, that those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view, even though we once regarded Christ from a human point of view. We regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We beseech you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And today's gospel reading is from John chapter 3, verses 16 through 21. The Lord said to his disciples, God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God sent the Son, into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He who believes in him is not condemned. He who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone who does evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does what is true comes to the light, that it may be clearly seen that his deeds have been wrought in God. Thank you for listening. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and direct the works of our hands to do good. See you tomorrow.